Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Project Use It Up update. Uh, this will keep going into the new year. It will just be Project Use It Up 2021, update number one. So just in case there was any, you know, confusion about that starting in the new year, this is just one that's ongoing. I just retitle it for the year and number them. So I know that I only filmed this like two weeks ago, but because I'm doing Vlogmas, it's letting me get everything back on track because it is saving me from being my lazy ass self. So uh, we're just going to roll with it. Some pro uh, A good chunk of products actually don't have any progress because of that though, but I will get into that. So first, I do have some empties. For actual products, I finished the Milani Dangerous Links Mascara, the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. This month, actually, I finished my Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. It was right here last time, and I finished that last bit up. So, yeah. Hello. Hello, you, you gonna join? You gonna join? Okay, that's fine. That's Europa, if you are not familiar with her. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm usually all about my dogs being, occasionally being in videos, but sometimes she likes to hang out too, and this is, if you saw my Instagram post last night, this is the demon I almost strangled because she kept playing with my Christmas tree. I didn't actually get that bad, but I did yell at her a lot. I think I've scared her away from it though, hopefully. But see, she's not afraid of me. She's just, now. I think I've now made her afraid of the Christmas tree. <laughs> Anyways, um, <coughs> Excuse me. Last month, I did finish this as well. It is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt-Away Cleansing Balm. I remember I didn't have a lot left of this, so this is now used up completely. For my sheet masks, I finished, I think it's nine. I have the Mother Made Brightening Pure Pearl Sheet Mask, the Pure Face Dermal Purifying Sheet Mask, the Duft and Doft Pink Milk Mask, the Midiflower Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask. The, these, some of these have gotten a little sticky, so sorry about that. The Glam Glow Refreshing Peppermint Mask. The Pure Face Collagen Mask Sheet Mask. A 111 Skin Rose Gold Sheet Mask. I think this might have been the one that actually leaked. A Treatise Mask Science Charcoal Black Sheet Mask in a Tula skincare sheet mask. So those are done. For makeup samples, I only finished this. I did, I used the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I used two of them. I used Fair and I believe Medium. Uh, fair was under my eyes, Medium was to contour with. I normally try to go for five, but this was the only one I worked on. And I do have samples. I have four from Treatise actually, because when they sent me those sheet masks, they sent me another, they sent me a batch of these. And since they've sent me something else to chest, I now have another batch of these. And I didn't really like them. <laughs> like the Moist Science Barrier Cream and Lotion were just too heavy for my skin. And that's, there's nothing wrong with them specifically. They just don't work for me. The Moist Science B Glucan Water Gel though was so, Sticky. Left my face sticky for hours afterward, which was unfortunate. I will say the Derma Science sunscreen with SPF 50 was fine. Definitely a good sunscreen, not greasy or anything like that. What I definitely liked the best out of all of those, just, you know, it's easy to get sunscreen, even cruelty-free sunscreen from the drugstore, so I would probably not seek that one out. I have the Amica Sexture Beach Look Shampoo. I also have the Amica... Flash Instant Shine Mask. This is not a conditioning mask. This is just to make your hair shinier, apparently. I have the IGK Crybaby Anti-Frizz Smoothing Serum. The Body Shop Tea Tree 3-in-1 Mask Swash Scrub thing. The uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. And the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. Uh, I will link my empties down below if you would like to see more in-depth opinions about any of these. But like, I liked all the sheet masks fine. I don't think any of them really stood out as like, I need to have that back in my life like right now. 
was it the Pure Face ones that didn't fit well? Or was that, I think that was another set that didn't fit well, but I can't remember now that I'm thinking on it. Uh, I do love the Pharmacy Makeup Remover. That is a repurchase in the future, honestly, but I have other stuff to go through first. And now for everything else, plus what I want to work on next month, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. There are four items I have no progress on. So the Glow Recipe Sleeping Mask still weighs the same, 112.8 grams. The I Do Care Cake My Day Hydrating Sprinkle Mask looks exactly the same. I have been working on a different mask to try and finish it up and it's a full size. So I figure once I finish that, I will jump to this. The Nyakio Maracuja and Yang Yu Hi! Smoothing Oil. I forgot about this, honestly. And the Nivea Cream. I also just kind of forgot about. <laughs> like I said, it's really only been about two weeks, not a full month, I'm, because Vlogmas is getting me actually back on track with updating. Now, the two products that I actually have progress on... I have my BRTC Jasmine Waterfall Foaming Cleanser. This will be done pretty shortly. Last time I was here, now I'm down to here. So really not a lot of that left. That will be done soon. This one I also figure I'll probably be done with this month, but it didn't have a ton of progress between updates. I don't wash my hair very often, honestly, is why. When you color your hair, you typically do not wash it very often to try and avoid the fading. It will still fade eventually. <laughs> but it's the Ecro New York Asa Acai Ac Acacia Protein BB Cream for Hair. <laughs> these are my marks. As you can see, not a lot of progress. About one use, honestly. I think I used something up. I used the smoothing serum at least once, too. So I used a couple of other things as well. And as for what I am introducing, I have another mascara. I mentioned this in all my videos, but I put mascaras in here just to remind me like this has been open for three months. At the end of the month, I need to let it go. This is the Lancome Hypnostrama Mascara. I'm trying to go through my back stock of non-cruelty-free <laughs> mascaras, of which I have a lot. So this was one that I opened up. And what's sad is that this is actually a really good mascara. Wand is kind of wonky looking, but otherwise I have actually really enjoyed it. They're not cruelty free though, so I cannot repurchase or purchase in that case. That was like a free sample that came with something or another. Next, I actually used up the last of my texturizing spray today. Yay! So that is if you tune in for Mini Madness Project Pan, where I work on minis alone. Um, that's been in there for months. <laughs> so I figured I'd put another one in here. This is the S. GX NYC the do it all three in one dry texture spray for volume refresh and hold so this is completely full I should have weighed this but I did not so I will weigh it once I am done I have the Biolage all-in-one coconut infusion multi benefit spray also for hair I finished actually that would also be for mini madness the uh, conditioning leave-in spray that I had in there but uh, this is completely full I have never touched it so I will try shining a light through that later I kind of forgot to but I feel like this is gonna be completely opaque packaging and I will weigh it as well I did remember to weigh this it's upside down because this packaging sucks it's the Tatcha the deep cleanse cleanser I hate this stuff because first off, the packaging, it's too hard to get product out. Like it is super hard and you have to squeeze it out through a little hole and I hate it. And the scent is very overpowering. I don't like it. I have been using it to clean my makeup sponge. Because it will help me get rid of it faster. Now once I rinse it out, the scent is not as strong. But actually using it on my face is just, I hate it. So I just found a different way to use it. And I'm happy about that. As for samples, I am actually out of foil packet samples. <laughs> the only ones I have are, I, the like I said, the Treatise company sent me something else to test and they sent me another pack of those same samples. And I am debating whether or not I want to use them because I know I don't, 
other than the sunscreen, I don't really like any of them. So, other than that, I don't really have anything. <laughs> I figured I would run out at some point. I thought it wouldn't take as long, but, you know, purchases, they come with sample bags. You buy it from Sephora, you could get samples, and I usually do. I will say, though, I still have plenty of makeup samples. So, I've already used up something this month. I used up, I think I showed it last month, the Estee Lauder foundation samples. I used up two of those, one to chest it out on my face and actually was able to like cover a whole cheek with it. And the other one I used to contour with. So I have three left that I at least want to get through this month. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Totally forgot about it last month. So um, I will probably use the this shade and probably this shade for, like I said, to see how it works on my face, plus a little bit of contouring. That just lets me use at least two so I don't feel as bad about using those little cards. And the other thing I have that I really want to use, I have popped this in and out of this before and I never remember to use it. It is a MAC lip sample in heroin, so like this deep dark purple. But I used up my Tarte Lip Surgeons the other day. Yay! There really wasn't much left and I finally used up the last little bit. So I'm not panning a deep dark color right now so I figure we're in winter. This is the time of year I would want to really want to wear a color like this. I'm not panning a color anywhere like this right now so if I'm gonna use it up now is the time. So we're gonna try again. <laughs> and I do have other like makeup samples in here. I have multiple bags of makeup samples. So those won't be going away anytime soon. I might even use more than the five I try to use a month. You never know with me. I might only use two, I might use 10. If I get any more skincare or hair care samples, I will use them and show them next month. It is my birthday month, so I, I want to get, you know, my Ulta birthday gift, which I have to go and store for. I can make an order for my Sephora birthday gift if I want to. So I'm sure some samples will come in and as I use them, I will show them. I just don't have any right now. <laughs> now for sheet masks, I do have sheet masks picked out. I have used two so far this month. So I have eight here. But uh, I, I got sent some masks to test by a different company. They are in here, but I also got so I'm getting some from Ipsy when it arrives. So as I've mentioned before, a couple of these might be swapped out for stuff from Ipsy so that I can go ahead and review it for points. You never know. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is just what I've picked out. I have a Soap and Glory Bright and Beautiful Party Recovery Radiance Boosting Mask. Another Treatise Mask Science Charcoal Black Sheet Mask. Uh, the charcoal ones are good for like oily skin that breaks out a lot. And because I have been extra stressed lately, I have been extra breaking out. Thus is why I also have one of the Feel Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Sheet Masks. And these really work. Like I've used these before, they're awesome. I have a Pure Lease Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Sheet Mask. Here's the only one left from my stack from last month, the Dr. Huang Su Vegan Approved Red Fruits Brightening Mask. And these were the two that I was sent to test. They are from Avayar or Avajar. I'm not sure how to say that, unfortunately. <laughs> I test, I, I'm a member of 0.8 liter on Instagram where occasionally you get sent stuff to test. Uh, but this company sent me the Yellow LED Whitening Cream Mask and the Green Pour A Solution to Shrink Your Pores Mask. And they sent me like 10 of those each. Like they send me like a box of masks <laughs> to test. And lastly, I have the, I got, I got this with points from Ipsy. This is the Honey Jurette Super Bow Tea or Beauty Mask with rose. So a little shorter because I didn't have any samples to show you guys that I was going to work on this month, but that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!